Tonight I'm going to be showing you a card using two different stamp sets and the first one is the one that I'm giving away in my giveaway which is called Christmas Love. This is the envelope it comes in. This is the set. We're going to be using a sentiment out of here tonight. I'll turn it over so you can read it. The sentiment that is Merry Christmas. We're going to be using that on our little Christmas card that we're going to make in a second. That's one of the stamp sets we'll be using. And the other one, which I'm really excited about, this stamp set. This is called All Decked Out. This is the cutest stamp set I've ever seen. This is a snowman. He's the main element. He's basically circles and then every piece comes apart and you can decorate him and dress him any way you want. And that's what I'm gonna show you tonight. We're gonna to do some, some stamping and some coloring and some different things. So I'll show you that all decked out. This is D3108. This is really cute. Um, several other products we're gonna use, but we'll talk about those as we go along. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a piece of cardstock. This is um, a piece, uh, this is an A2 card. It's eight and a half by five and a half is what this measures. And all I did was cut this from some um, black card stock from close to my heart. And then I um, scored it with my bone folder. And then I just um, laid it down really tight. And look how crisp that gets. It just lays completely flat. That's awesome. The next thing you'll need to complete this card is your close to my heart um, Cricut cartridge, which is called Art Philosophy. You'll need this cartridge. Now, this cartridge is going to be what gives us the main element of the card, and it is this um, snowflake square, which is beautiful and very ornate, and I cut that using my Cricut. Now, I will cut away and show you how we do that. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to cut this square-shaped very intricate snowflake design from our close to my heart art philosophy Cricut cartridge. Now, these can be a little confusing. This is the font layer button. It is not shift. You do not have to press the shift. Font layer, and if you look right here, it is the fourth button over from the left. So I'll show you how I did that. These are our buttons, and I went one, two, three, fourth button, which is the arrow and rectangle. It is font layer and if you look right here in the picture you see it's that big snowflake image. And now since we've done the Cricut cutting as you can see this is very very delicate and very intricate. These pieces it, it is very tiny. I even had to at some points where there was little pieces of paper that my machine didn't get. I took a straight pen. This is just a pearl head pen. You can see it if I put it on the black, and I just poked out the places that, um, like there's a place right there I need to poke, I poke that out to get that out. Now I'm going to use this as the top element on my black card. I apologize. Well, that's pretty good. You can see that pretty good, but look how beautiful this looks on that black card. It is so pretty. So we're going to adhere this right here. I think that will make it. And now we're going to just adhere this down to our card, leaving about a half inch gap all the way around. And I should tell you that I cut the snowflake image at three and a half inches on the Cricut. A couple of things you'll want to do, you're going to have a lot of elements to stamp. I wanted to show you this. The snowman is basically a circle. He, and, he's kind of, and he's literally a circle. You could use this for lots of projects, but I'm going to do what's called double mounting. I'm going to mount one stamp to one side of my block and then we'll flip it over and mount the other to the other side. Now you can use anything for this portion. You can just use scrap paper and that's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm actually going to cut a piece of this off. So you can use just scrap paper for this. Now I definitely, definitely think you should use your stays on ink because we're going to be coloring. And anytime you're coloring you need to use an ink that's going to stay in place. So first things first, with our double mounted stamp, we're going to take the back side and get his face. Now I left his face element in. You could take that out and just do the circle. Now this, I've got the sentiment on one side. On the back side is where I've got the button. So I'm going to ink up the button. And I'm going to put it on his tummy. Now I like to put it kind of high because I think it makes him look a little fatter. But other people, it makes his little belly look big. I love a fat snowman. I think that's why I love snowmen because they're fat and the fatter the better. Okay, so then his top hat, and look at that image, it's beautiful, it's just beautiful, and we'll get back to the sentiment in a few minutes. Now, this is where we get to do some coloring, 
So I'm going to bring back my markers, the markets. Now, I'm using this color, which may sound funny, but it's Summer Melon. And when I tested the colors, this one was the best for his nose as far as color was concerned. You don't have to do a lot with these colors because they bleed into the paper really well. They just kind of soak in. They're beautiful. And now with the red on his scarf, I actually want to take it and color every other stripe. I had considered coloring every other stripe green so we'd have a red and green scarf, but I love the graphic pop of the red and white together. Now you know how to color, so I could color the whole thing and let you watch it, but we're just gonna color. And you wanna stay in the lines, although I got out there a little bit. For the sake of time, I did one earlier so you could see it already colored, but that shows you how to use the stamp set. Now we're gonna take out our scissors. And I'm going to use my close to my heart precision point scissors and I'm going to cut right around as close to the edge as I can but leave a tiny white gap not a big one on this project because of the way we're going to use this snowman I really don't want a big white edge I do want a tiny one and if you need to cut them out separately like this just kind of messy that's fine and then just keep cutting so I'm just going to cut these out I love how close these scissors let me get into the image. Just really as close as I want to get. I'm going to leave a little bit of his arm hanging off because we're going to attach that to him so that'll be fine. We'll get rid of the scraps. And come back in and play with our snowman. It's kind of like playing dress up. It's kind of fun. Okay. So my plan for the snowman is to have this kind of as the top portion and have this little guy kind of peeking in a little askew and waving to us with his little scarf on. That's the plan for him and his scarf will be adjusted. But I'm going to lift him up off the page using the foam tape. So I'm going to get the skinny foam tape and we're just going to slide him off of here. And I think the best thing to do is to start with this body. So I'm gonna flip this over, get my bigger scissors, and just take small pieces of the foam tape. Now, if you have um, any kind of pop-up 3D dimensional adhesive, this will work just fine. Now, I have all of my pieces with the dimensional tape on the back, and we're gonna just start assembling our snowman. Now, one thing I wanted to do was adhere his hand to his body. So I'm just gonna look behind here and see if I need to make any trimming, and I think that's a little bit high. So I'm gonna trim it up just a little bit and see if I can't get his hand right here. And I might even need to lift this foam dot up and put it underneath there and get his hand out like that. That's really cute. So what I wanna do now that I know where I want it to go, is put some more of our bonding memories on right here in this area. Slide him underneath the foam tape and stick him down. And I went ahead when I was um, putting it together and put a piece of foam tape on his hand as well. So now I'm just going to peel the backing off. Now this will be where we decide where our snowman will start because he's big deal here. He's the body. So I'm thinking he should come about right here. He's cute already. He doesn't even have a head. Okay. And then for his scarf, I'm going to do that in a second. I'll show you why. We're going to go ahead with his head next. And I'm going to kind of use my scarf to eyeball where I'm going to put his head so I know what kind of room to give myself. I kind of want his scarf a little askew like this. So I'm going to put his head about here, and then we'll go ahead and adhere his hat down. And we should be able to just slide his hat right over the top of his little head and stick that down. And then his scarf. Now his scarf is going to be a whole other dimension because of the way we have foam tape on it also. So it's going to give another dimension, which I think will be cute. 
remember this is your card you can do whatever you want you might think I don't really like it lifted up so much whatever you like work it down maybe the wind caught it and lifted it up on the edge and I think it's really really cute so he's just peeking in he's a happy little snowman now another thing you can do which I think would be really cute on that same stamp set the snowflakes that are on this, I think you could stamp this and maybe just layer some right here over the top. And we may do that when we finish. But I think it would be really cute if you just had this little snowflake laying across them. So we'll look at that in a second. Now I want to work on a sentiment for the bottom. We talked about, or I told you earlier that we would be using the sentiment from the stamp set that I'm giving away. If you haven't entered, be sure to enter. We'll be using the stamp set. We'll be, you, I'll be giving away the stamp set, Christmas Love. We're going to use, and I want to show you how these work. I haven't peeled one off and put it on for you. We're going to use the sentiment Merry Christmas. And you just place it on your stamp. Now there's a beautiful thing about these stamps. They are movable because they are made of fine acrylic. And I mean beautiful acrylic that you can see through and everything. So I'm going to bring my stays on back. And again, I've double blocked these so you can see those other stamps are still on there. I'll put them back when we finish. This is 5 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. This is 3 quarters by 3 inches. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto the white in the center as close as I can get it here. And then pop that off. Alright, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my hole punch and I mean my corner rounder, I should say, not my hole punch, my corner rounder, and I'm going to corner around these edges which create an interesting, it's not quite round, it's kind of got a point to it because of the size of the paper. I think that's kind of interesting the way it makes that little tip. I'm gonna do the same thing with the red piece. Okay, so I use my bonding memories that we've been using and I adhered those two together. So now I have my sentiment for the bottom of the page, which is really cute. But before I do that, I wanna add a piece of ribbon. This is from the Ribbon Rounds Designer Black Collection. Um, there's several different colors, and I challenge myself to use this black in some Christmas cards, which I think is really cute. We're going to put a bow in this area, or possibly a knot. I haven't decided on this. You're going to play along with me on this one. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to take our scissors, and I haven't adhered my sentiment down yet because I want to know where I'm going to put it exactly. And we're going to kind of eyeball a section here and cut a slit. Now don't worry, the slit will be bigger than you think, but you won't be able to see it. I want to be pretty careful with that. When I open it up, you'll really be able to see it. Can you see where my finger is here? You can really see that there. Okay, so we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to feed it through the inside. Just like so. Pulling it around. And I'm just going to leave myself just enough to knot. So this should be enough. Probably too much, but that'll get us started. I'm not going to do a bow, just a knot. Something like that. Fidget with it, mess with it. And then you want to take your scissors and we're going to trim that away. All the excess. And that's cute. Okay. Then, since I have my ETG out, we'll just use it. You could pop this up if you wanted to, but I think we have a lot of dimension there. So I'm just going to put some ATG on the back. And I think I want to put this little guy right here to the side. Just mesh him down. I'm going to pull my ribbon a little tighter to one side so that we can see the Merry Christmas. And I'm going to I'm going to stop it here for all practical purposes, but I'm going to go ahead and do the snowflake and see what that looks like. So bear with me. There we go. And now he's kind of peeking in out of the whirly snow and I think that's kind of cute. He's pretty ornate and pretty busy, but it's a cute card. Um, give it a try. The best part about this is the snowman. You have to try this snowman. All decked out.